In the autumn of 2017, the Chinese Communist Party, the single ruling power in China, will hold a congress to choose the members of their top decision-making bodies, the Politburo and its smaller but more powerful Politburo Standing Committee. The PSC currently has seven members. Five of them are expected to retire due to an un unspoken age limit rule, 67 years and out. But who can be expected to replace those five people? Only the most powerful within the party know for sure, but by looking at historical patterns, we can make educated guesses. The expectation is that there will be seven seats, the same as before. I went over these seats in more detail in my other video, but they are the General Secretary, the Premier of the State Council, the Chairman of the Standing Committee of the National People's Conference, the CPPCC, the Party Secretariat, the Chairman of the CDIC, and the Vice Premier. It's not out of the realm of possibility that they cut down or add a new seat. They had eight seats in the 17th Congress, with the now-removed Security Czar seat going to the disgraced Zhou Yongkang. But for now, we're going to assume that it's just be seven seats available. The General Secretary and the Premier are at the head of the collective leadership model that has run China since the 1990s. Xi Jinping and Li Keqiang hold those seats today, and as of 2017, are younger than the 67-year-old cut-off age limit. They're practically guaranteed to be re-elected to the Standing Committee in the same positions. That leaves for us five seats to be filled. Luckily, the pool for selection to the Standing Committee is limited. To be eligible, the person has to already be on the Politburo, the larger 25-person body from which the PSC is selected. There's one very big exception to this rule, but we can talk about that later. The Politburo members have a mixture of portfolios, but all are immensely powerful. Being from the military, Xu Qi Lam, Vice Chairman of the Central Military Commission, or from large regions like Shanghai, or exceptionally sensitive regions like Xinjiang. So who can potentially make it out of the Politburo? The guys young enough not to be retired by 2017. They include Hu Chunhua, Sun Zhang Chai, Zhang Chunlixiang, and Li Yuanchao. The big exception that we mentioned earlier, and we are all watching this very carefully, is that if historical president holds, two of those seats on the PSC will not be filled from the Politburo. This is because at the end of this 2017 to 2022 term, Xi Jinping and Li Keqiang are expected to retire, and so their successors need to be placed on the PSC for training. Historically, the successors in training are not selected out of the Politburo, and especially in the case of the General Secretary. Hu Jintao was elevated straight into the PSC in 1992, with future Premier Wen Jiabao as an alternate member of the Politburo, and Xi Jinping went direct to the top 15 years later. They can potentially come from anywhere. So if things go as before, we will get three people rising up from the Politburo and two total newcomers anointed as the future of China's leadership. But the big question hanging in the air though has to do with the huge power that Xi Jinping has collected in the current era. Rumors and hearsay find that he is trying to keep CCDI head Wang Chishang beyond the 67 year age limit. If so, there is also further hearsay that finds that he may attempt to defy precedent and stay beyond the 10-year term his predecessors have served. The country's constitution does not allow it, but the party has nothing to say about that, and the party is the organization with the real power. So if we get another five members onto the PSC in the autumn, and they're all too old to be the successors in training, then we know something monumental has changed in the landscape of Chinese power. Xi Jinping has taken deep and central control over the party apparatus.